Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 37 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, let's start off by making a cylinder right over here. Okay, give it about 20, er, 21 segments. Uh, convert to an editable poly, polygon, select that and just drag it out actually uh, decrease the radius of this just a bit okay polygon hinge from edge pick hinge right there uh, 95 and 9 okay then you're going to want to extrude it out Okay, uh, then if you can find it, okay. hinge from edge, pick hinge, right there, it's going to be 90, okay, and just extrude it, just in there, okay. That'll give us like a little grip bar for them. Okay, next, uh, use a create a cylinder using auto grid. Line it up in here. Okay, convert to edit to poly, polygon, edges, chamfer, same thing as always. Okay. Put a cylinder, create little cylinders that have seven sides, convert to editable poly, polygon, select here, edges, chamfer. Okay. And just copy it a few times around here. select all of those and just copy them down here okay. select this, select all these edges, connect twice polygon, select here, bevel by local normal, and you're going to want to decrease the height a bit press ok um, let's see, next we're going to want, um, need something over here, let's use these things, so, select two of these, bring them over, okay, rotate, uh, Rotate 90 degrees using angle snap. Uh, sink them right in there. Okay. And just position them. Okay. And let's create a cylinder right here. Give it twelve sides. Okay, rotate ninety degrees. And bring it back over here. Rotate it just so it looks like it's sitting on these. Okay. Uh, convert to to add it to a poly, polygon, select both the ends, okay, um, select the edges, chamfer, okay, select the polygons again, inset, okay, 
and press bridge so we get that nice hole in there so it looks like a pipe. Okay, um, next let's uh, start working on this side. So here you're going to select this edge and this edge, connect twice, okay, select all those, bevel, sand mount pad on the other side, so that's good. And do the same edge selection Oops. process. So select these edges. Sure, there's one. Connect. And these. Connect. This. Connect. And this. Connect. Okay. Go to the vertex level and just start moving some stuff. Next, we're going to want to grab all of this, so just select as much as you can with one pass, and oops, go again for a second. Start deselecting things. Deselect all those. Okay, just to make sure, copy it. Make sure nothing else follows. Okay, we're good. Then mirror it on the X. Yes. Okay. And sync it right in. Okay. Next, let's start individually positioning them. So like this and just move it into position. Okay. This one. This one. Move all these into position. Okay. And you can select this and Put it wherever you want. You can rotate it a bit. And you can select these if you want. Actually, I kind of like that right there. So. Keep that and then change these around. So move the vertices in different positions. Okay, and then uh, move the roots around to match. This one looks like that's probably all I need to change for that one. Oh. Um, right. Vertex. Move it down. That is a little poly. There we go. Okay, uh, that'll be it for parts 37. I'll see you in part 38.